What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today you're 6-0 undefeated UAB Blazers who are number 8 in the country are hosting a non-conference opponent Fresno State the Bulldogs of Fresno State who are 2-5 they're not very good but we still have to take every opponent just as seriously as you know the number one team in the country the way we prepare though is a little bit different because obviously every team runs a different style of course but if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to this kind of content at all there's a subscribe button down below for more UAB Blazers Dynasty and you guys are killing it with the support of this series because you guys just love this series so much and I love doing this series myself it is one of my favorite things to do on YouTube like I love this series if this was like you know Obviously, I love every other series that I do, but this is like my favorite one because it's like I love college football for one. <laughs> I'm a huge college football fan. So anyway, um, we're going to take a look at some recruiting. And uh, you see we're going after the number one recruit in the country. We still have a chance at him. And then, uh, if you guys didn't see that before anyway. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident in my selection with this guy. Uh, he's an athlete, of course, but it's going to be hard to get him. Uh, obviously, getting the number one recruit is no easy task. And um, let's see. Um, we also got the number four tight end in the country that we're going after. Uh, we got to get ready for the, the, the departure of Donald Hills, whether he goes to the pros or if he decides to stay, you know, graduate and whatnot. Um, but it all depends. We want to we kind of have like a two tight end system that I hope works out. Um, we still have Michael Grimes, who's been pretty good, um, but we still need another piece, I feel like, because, you know, we the more pieces we have, the better we're going to be in the future, and we need to build ourselves for a dynasty, and, you know, we want to be, we still have a long ways away, I feel like, because before we're anywhere, you know, serious contenders for at the beginning of the season because I still feel like we're being underappreciated by the coaches polls everything else because we ended the season at number two last year and I'm still salty about it that we didn't start in the top 25 this year but I mean we're a number eight now so it's not like it's that big of a deal but I feel like it kind of dampers on our hopes to win a national championship to start off with even if I feel like we do have if there's three undefeated teams I feel like we're going to be the one left out because that's how the polls work and that's how the game likes to screw me over but anyway i'm gonna done, i'm done talking about it we're gonna get on with this uh other stuff here though you see we're still finishing up on recruiting um we don't want to take too much time on recruiting though because we i mean we've already spent a lot of time on it uh, nonetheless we're trying to figure out who we want to spend our last 400 points on and it's kind of hard because you know you want to make sure you get the right guy that you want to put in the system and we, we need a linebacker we definitely need a linebacker so we're gonna go after mr. Chad Newberry here and uh, get ready to uh, hopefully have him come to UAB and we're almost I think we're almost at level 20 for coaching level too so um, that's also great so then we can also finish up on the recruiting side of it on the skill tree that'll be something pretty neat too so you take a look at the top 25, you see teams like Ohio State, Miami, Georgia Tech, South Carolina, Florida, Texas, UAB, UConn, and other undefeated teams like Cincinnati. Uh, you see a couple of teams taking their first losses of the season. Um, you see, you're going to see in a second, Air Force at number 24. That's crazy, isn't it? Air Force at number 24. Who would have thought that? I mean, I certainly, I certainly wouldn't have. Um, but hey, kudos to them, right? Number 24, Air Force. So, anyway, taking a look at the conference standings. You see we're going to be at the top, but that Marshall game. That Marshall game is going to be key. If we don't beat Marshall, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard for us to do anything with that. But, anyway, we're going to get on with this game against Fresno State. Get your popcorn, get your drinks, and get ready for some football. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites the blazers are really hitting their stride look i know they have a winning streak going but more importantly they're starting to play at a very high level the expectations are going to rise they'll try to make sure their performance does the same thanks for checking out the pregame show ncaa college football action coming up next with brad and kirk on the call david and i will see you at halftime We 
are here at Legion Field, home of the Blazers, as we are hosting now to the Fresno State Bulldogs, who are 2-5 and five on the year. We are 6-0. and oh. Man, that sounds nice to say. Man, I love saying that. We're undefeated, and we can hope to continue that upward trend here today against a very kind of mediocre Fresno State team. But, hey. That I mean, you gotta take every opponent seriously. So here on second and five, single back formation, handed off to Hicks. Hicks is moving the line. Look at that, and he gets the first down. Moving those chains, man. You gotta move those chains, man. Second down and ten, and we're in shotgun formation this time. Aaron Hicks off to the left, and we're gonna give it to that guy who we just said, Aaron Hicks, and he's gonna break a tackle. Look at that, and he's trying. He juked a little early on that play, but he does get the first down nonetheless. I'm happy with it. You guys are happy with it. So later on, it's third down and eight. As soon as Donald Hills gets the turn on his route, he already has the ball in his hands. Would you look at that? Chris Jones seeing the defense very well in this drive. And uh, third down and one. Hand it off to Aaron Hicks again. First down, moving the chains once again. You know, I don't really care about that yards per carry average. If he's getting first downs, I'm more than happy to give him the ball again. So later on, third down and three, Jones dropping back, gets it off to Michael Grimes underneath and gets the touchdown. It's now 7-0, just like that. Michael Grimes, I think that's his first touchdown as a, as a UAB Blazer. Would you look at that? First touchdown for the guy. Second down and 10 here for uh, the Fresno State Bulldogs. And Tony Jackson, look at him go. My Lord, he is taken off, but Charles Hamby gets him by the shoelace, but not after he picks up 61 yards on the play for the Bulldogs. So later on, third down and four here. Can they get this first down? We'll see. Griffin dropping back, looking over the middle, gets it off to Ralph, but Ralph is not going to get that first down. He's like just a few feet short of the first down. They're going to go for it, though. Hey, they got balls. I'll get that. I'll give them that. And you know what? <laughs> I, I can't even hate them for that. I can't even hate them that they got a touchdown on this play. I can't. So it's 7-7. Seven, seven. I, I can't even hate. You know they they got balls and they just showed off that they they got some they got some brass in there so <laughs> so first down we got the first down right there and uh, moving the chains just ever so slightly you know four yards per carry I, I'm okay with that so Jones dropping back looking to the right side and it's caught by Brian Green looking pretty green on that one there's green all over the place green on his shirt green on the, on the on the grass. You know, green in his last name. There's green everywhere. So third down and two here. Handed off to Aaron Hicks again. First down uh, for UAB. So now Jones is eight for eight so far. Doing pretty good work. So later on, third down and five. Jones dropping back, scrambling to his right. He's going to take off running, and he gets the first down. Down to the 26-yard line. 14-yard pickup. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Well, yeah, I'm not a country singer. But anyways, third down, second down and three, my bad. Handing it off to Matt Ford. He drives a Ford probably, and he gets the first down. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> he does get the first down, but, I mean, it took him a little bit to get that. I had never seen that before. I haven't seen it worked in that, my way like that before, but as a user, I, I hardly ever get that. But anyway, off to Heronix on this play. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now 14-7. to Look at that play. I like it. And now, first and 10 here. They got Winston in motion for Fresno State. Handed off. Oh, it's an option play. And Mullins misses the tackle. Hamby does get the tackle nonetheless. And uh, he gets, I think, 14 yards on that play. So first down for the Fresno State. Later on, third down and six. Griffin dropping back, looking left side. And it's going to be dropped by Smith as Eric Griffin is now one for four so far. Not a great day for him so far here in the first half. But we're going to try again in the to end the half strong and try to get a touchdown. So Jones dropping back, looking deep. There is a wide open Doug Nash right there. And he's taking it down to the 34 yard line for a first down. So later on, 135 left here in the first half. Here's Jones dropping back again, scrambling to his right. And he's got plenty of room to run. And he's going to get that first down. Pick up, a, I think, about 13, 14 yards on that play, too. So Chris Jones already got a couple first downs on the drive. Later on, it's third down and five, three. Five for five so far on third downs. Well, make it six for six. So, Donald Hills, you know he's the man, the myth, the legend. You know, the guy who's been doing work at UAB since he's transferred here. So, first down and goal here for the Blazers. They're going to do a read option, and Jones is going to score on the read option, making it 21-7 to as the Blazers are starting to pull away a little bit. 
So second half just beginning here. First down and 10 for uh, Fresno State here. Griffin handed it off to Jackson. Jackson doing work again. Look at that. Shoving down Dan Mullins and getting bodied by Jared Lewis. And the Bulldog is dancing. We don't want that Bulldog dancing, though. We don't. First and 10. They're going to do a little shotgun. Oh, screen pass. And they get the first down as Roth misses the tackle. Same with Hamby, but Bryant can't make the tackle either. But yeah, he gets out of bounds. So, man, he was on steroids on that play or something like that. He could not be taken down. Third down at 14. Five minutes to go here in the third. Bob Bryant trying to get on that, trying to pre predict that screen pass. And he almost, well, he could have gotten the interception. But uh, good defensive line play right there. Forced the incomplete pass. And now first down and 10 here for the Blazers. As we get it over the middle of the Doug Nash. Doug Nash getting that first down. Pick up 12 yards. And he's been putting in the work today. Three catches, 65 yards for him. I like Doug Nash. He's a very good receiver on this team. Second down and inches here. Jones on the read option, getting that first down. And he gets about six yards on the play. Moving the chains. Moving them chains. Eight carries, 49 yards for him. We've been running the ball more than we've passed, which is something that we really don't do. But when the run game's working like this, I mean, you can't complain. We're getting first downs when we need to. And... We're setting ourselves up for success. So, I mean, you can't hate if you, if you, you know, you can't, don't hate the game, hate the player, you know, just saying. Thurman Knox, touchdown, 20 yards out. It's now 28 to 7 as the Blazers starting to pull away. Jones, 17 of 18 for 209 yards. And my Lord, he's been killing it. So now third down and two here. They're going to do a, that pitch option play, and that actually is going to get them a touchdown. Believe it or not, Dan Mullins is going to try and catch up, but he gets up just a little too late. 67 yards for Tony Jackson, and it's now 28-14. Just like that. So two minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's Jones scrambling to his right, trying to find somebody open. Gets a wide open Michael Grimes, and he gets a first down on that play. So good 34-yard pickup, and the chains move once again. Later on the drive, Chris Jones again in the single back formation on third and 15. Yes, I am still running those four verts like it's nuts, but it works whenever I need it to get it. So 21 yards later, another first down. So later on, Chris Jones on an offset eye on the third down and one, handed it off, and that's a first down for the Blazers as Chris Jones and Aaron Hicks just doing work today. That's, that's This is their thing. Later on, we have Justin Kelly in the game here as Chris Jones is going to be out for the rest of the game with a concussion as you know, Justin Kelly, touchdown pass to Donald Hills. Would you look at that? 35-14. Just, Justin Kelly's full, like, potential is about to be shown in this fourth quarter. I, I'm telling you. So later on, it's going to be caught again. First down, Fresno State. as Hutchinson with the 11-yard reception. And that's his first catch of the day. He's a third-string wide receiver. The, the Bulldogs haven't been really passing the ball a whole lot. But they, have, they pretty much have to in this situation because it's like they're down 21 in the fourth. Uh, they're pretty much in pass only mode and sorry about that little pa uh, pause right there but sometimes with my big fingers and hands uh, I sometimes press two buttons at the same time so uh, anyway later on third down and four here 343 left here's Griffin dropping back looking deep over the middle of the Smith first down for the Bulldogs and they're down inside the red zone down at the 10 yard line actually like the nine and a half but later on first and goal 330 to go here in the fourth Griffin going to take this one in himself, and that's a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Fresno State down by 14. Now, they've kept it close for most of this game, and it's crazy. And now Justin Kelly dropping back, scrambling to his right again. Look at the cornerback just get baited on that play. He got so baited. It's now 30 or 42-21 as Brian Green gets another touchdown pass. Baited, like, so hard. Like, you could not, a quarterback could not have baited a defensive player any better than that. So now later on, third and 14, Dr Griffin drops back, and it's intercepted. Keith Brown on that play, getting that interception, getting ourselves in another good position right here to get ourselves some more points and put Justin Kelly's full potential on display. So another screen pass right here to Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks gets a few blocks and gets the first down. So 322 yards passing for the Blazers so far. It's Justin Kelly is just putting on quite a show so far here in the fourth quarter. Is now here we go first and ten at the 17. Kelly scrambling to his right. He's gonna take off running. Has a few blocks in front of him. Makes a couple of guys miss, and he bulldozes his way into the end zone. 
as it's now 49-21. Would you look at that? The crowd is going nuts for this guy. So third down and 13 here for uh, Fresno State. Can they get something going to not make themselves look like fools here in the fourth quarter? We'll see about that. They're trying to change up the play, make themselves look cool. But, I mean, they do get this completion, but not enough for first. As Bob Bryant gets him by the shoelaces. But, hey, it's better than him taking that one off to the distance, you know. I'm not going to let my defense give up that big of a play. So, Kelly again, left side. Touchdown, Blazers. Three touchdown passes for your boy, Justin Kelly. As now, it's pretty much like this one's been over since it was 42-21. But now it's just become a laugher. As you see right here, Bob Bryant gets the interception. Pick six as time pretty much time expires right there. So 63-21 is your final score, ladies and gentlemen. What a that was kind of a joke in the fourth quarter. It turned into a laughing stock for Fresno State. They kind of walked they kind of walked out with their asses showing. And sorry about the little curse there, but hey, it's all good. I mean, y'all know what I mean. You don't you don't want to go out with your tail showing. You know they they kind of went actually they went with their tails between their legs. They're kind of whimpering away. Uh, they didn't look like bulldogs to me. They kind of looked like puppies. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you're new to this kind of content at all, like I said at the beginning of the video, hit that subscribe button down below for more fresh content like this one and many more in the future. But until next time, you guys are amazing supporters on YouTube. My name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.